legislature overwhelmingly approved the measure with little debate. Do you believe in ghosts? Mm. Well, that's good. Nice little sound effect. Well, a nationally acclaimed historic house in Waterloo is getting investigated this weekend for paranormal activity. The Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators will check out the Rensselaer Russell House Museum. This is part of the Grout Museum, the district there, and that's where we catch up with News Channel 7's Nikki Newbro this morning. Uh, Nikki, this is a difficult story to do uh, at high noon, and you're doing it uh, really when it's pitch black outside. You must be spooked. Um, not quite yet. I'm with people. If I was by myself, I'd be a little bit more scared, I should say. But I am with Annette and Seth. And Annette, you're with the Grout Museum. And at the Rensselaer House, what makes it so special in Blackhawk County? It's one of our oldest homes that we have here in Blackhawk County. And what, uh, what is about it? What, why should we be here? <laughs> well, people have said that they've seen people look outside of the, out at the Belvedere, and it's closed off. Nobody can get there. So, and, you know, strange things have kind of happened. So we're just going to see if there's really something about that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that is why you're here, Seth. You're with Calhoun yes. County. Tell us your, your background, what you do. Um, I've co-founded and I'm the lead investigator for Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators and I've uh, been doing it for about 10 years and it's coming to places, amazing places like this and see what we can dig up. And It must be fun to not only you know see what you can find but also see the history exactly. of, of a building. Exactly, that's that's my favorite part is you know and then we find answers and find things out that nobody even knows, that's just a great thing. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and the Rensselaer House, it's been here forever. Back then they bought it and they made the home for almost six thousand dollars. Just under six thousand dollars. Five thousand eight hundred seventy eight dollars. The average house back then was only three hundred dollars. Holy cow and he bought the block as well for what seven fifty? Correct. Yep. Wow. And yep. so what makes this home supposed to be so spooky, supposed to be having ghosts? Well, they did have a daughter that died um, across South Street here um, when she was just um, not quite six years old. So they had, the, of course, the funeral and all that was done in here. So who knows? Wonderful. Okay. So coming up, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more with Annette and Seth. But right now, Seth, do you feel anything? I mean, this is your thing. Not, not yet. Give me a little bit and we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. All right. We'll have more information coming up. You won't want to miss the next hour and a half, I should say. We're live in Waterloo. Nikki Newbro, I was News Channel 7. Hi, thank you, Nikki. And as uh, they indicated there, this will be the first time that ghost hunters have spent uh, any time in this house. One of the spirits they may be looking for, they hinted at, is the daughter of Rensselaer Russell. She apparently fell down a well in Waterloo's Washington Park back in 1861. We shall see, or maybe we won't. We'll find mm, out. Maybe we'll hear. A nationally acclaimed historic house in Waterloo is getting investigated this weekend for paranormal activity. Woo! That's right. Now that's really good. The Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators will check out the Rensselaer Russell House Museum. That's where we catch up with News Channel 7's Nikki Newbro this morning. Nikki, are you spooked? Not yet. No, I haven't seen any, uh, you know, inclinations of paranormal activity. Seth, have you? You're the expert. Ah, uh, let's see, not yet. I don't know, maybe if we shut some lights off, it would be a different story. <laughs> Very good. We are in the Rensselaer Russell House. I'm here with Seth and Annette. And Annette, you know, this place, you said you you felt a few spooky moments. Uh, it, well, just once, and I can really say, yeah, where doors kept opening on cabinets and stuff that should have been closed, and so, yeah. In fact, the cabinet right behind right us. Right behind us was one of them, yes, that, that it kept coming open that one day, so, oh, yeah. Wonderful. Now, the, the story is that Genevieve Russell, she yeah. uh, passed away in a park just, no, a, just across South Street. Just across South Street. How did she die? She um, drowned in a cistern. Wonderful. And uh, the funeral was in this home. We believe so. Yes, we believe it. That's what they would have done back then, is they had the funeral, laid out the body, and had the funeral in in here. And we do have a post-mortem photo of her upstairs. So. And we'll see that photo coming up in the next hour, half hour, I should say. And and why would Genevieve, why would she be haunting this house, you think, and not the park? I, I would say that this was her where she spent her last days. This was her home growing up, and, you know, who knows, she might be here and over at the park. That's the weird thing about paranormal. She so, might be here right now. Exactly. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, to, when you get the phone call, you have to prepare for something like this. How do you prepare? Uh, we just start t talking to the client and getting information, getting information on the haunting and the history of the place, and we go from there. 
And you've been to so many different investigations, but you said some of them have been a bust. This is true. Yes, they'll, <laughs> they'll say a lot of things, and it ends up just being natural things that they don't understand, and they're just paranoid. And you've actually been to an apartment we were talking about earlier in Cedar Falls. Yes. That was haunted. Oh, my, yes. It was like a <laughs> tiny apartment, and it was crazy haunted. <laughs> and your investigation is tomorrow night in this home. You'll spend the whole night here. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes, we will. Best of luck. We'll have more information about that coming up in our next half hour as well as some more of the history. This is just such a neat home to talk about that is right in our backyard, right here in Blackhawk County. So right now we're live in Waterloo. Nikki Nubro for Iowa News Channel 7. That is indeed spooky Nikki. Thank you so much for that. Now we asked you on our Facebook page if you have ever experienced paranormal activity. Villa says, I've lived in several houses where... Well, most people go to the liquor store to get spirits, but this morning... We're asking you if you believe in ghosts. A nationally acclaimed historic house in Waterloo is getting investigated this weekend for paranormal activity. That was your cue for music. Thank you. The, it was a very long note. The Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators will check out the Rensselaer Russell House Museum. This is part of the Grout Museum, as you probably know. And this is where we catch up with News Channel 7's Nikki Newbro this morning. Uh, you have not yet been abducted, uh, that I can see. Uh, nothing bad seems to have happened to you, so I guess we're off to a good start this morning. Nikki? Yeah, yeah, we're still here, um, but this is when I'm getting a little bit creeped out because we are in Genevieve's room, and she is said to have haunted this house. In fact, the this cabinet right behind me is said to have opened up on its own, so it's just little things like that that have said that Genevieve could be here. Correct. Right, and, yeah. and that kind of explained who Genevieve is. Genevieve was the daughter of Rensselaer and Carolyn. They're the people that built the house. Mm -hmm. um, when they came here, she was like two, and right before her sixth birthday is when she um, drowned in the cistern. Yeah, and just in Washington Park, just a few blocks away from here. South Street from here, yeah. Yeah. That yep. as well. And I'm holding a, the post-mortem picture, so after she was dead, this is the picture of Genevieve. This is the real one, and then this is just a copy, so you can see it better, but yeah. Yeah, they took a picture of her when she, she in died. In her coffin. In her coffin, yeah. It was popular to do post-mortem pictures after people were dead back then, so yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. And, and yeah. Seth is here with us. He's with Calhoun County, and he, he's going to have a project t tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exciting. I cannot wait to get in here. Kind of explain what you're going to do tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to come in and we'll set up some different equipment and walk around. We usually split up into teams and just go around and do experiments and ask different questions and just feel the place out and get a vibe for it. And you're already feeling a vibe here in this room. And I, I am too, but you're the expert. <laughs> oh yeah, we, I've already felt like we were being watched. I've heard a couple noises downstairs and... Just getting that creeped out spine or chills up your spine feeling. Yeah. yeah, we've been just standing here talking and Seth will just wander off because I'll hear something. <laughs> it is kind of creepy. Now, right above us, I want to show you, is um, basically the attic. You said you can't get up there, but people have seen people up up there looking at other people. You're going to try to knock up there? What do you Yeah, mean? Yeah, we're, uh, since we can't get up there, I think we're going to try and just like use a broom or something, knock and see if we can get responses. That actually happens quite often in places, so... Why not, right? Check it out. No kidding. And you said before you came here, uh, you have to do research to ask the right questions. Yes. So can you give us kind of a preview of what kind of questions you might be asking? I mean, we'll start off general. I mean, we come in just and acting like we're just meeting strangers. And we'll just be like, you know, we're just here. You know, can you talk to us? Can you tell us your name? It's just simple things like that. And then once we get in a little further, we might ask about the death of Genevieve and other things like that. Sure. But you don't think Genevieve's the only one who is here? I do not think so. I think there's probably at least three or four different ones. That's a feeling I get. So. Sure. Well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow night. Yes. Wonderful. As for now, we are, we're still here. We're still live. Well, in Waterloo, I'm Nikki Newbro for Iowa's News Channel 7. <laughs> Fantastic facial expression from Nikki Newbro. There's just no way to describe that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. In today's talk back, we asked you on our Today in Iowa Facebook page. Services. A nationally acclaimed historic house in Waterloo is getting investigated this weekend for paranormal activity. The Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators will check out the Rensler Russell House Museum. Cue music. And that's where we catch up. That's where we catch up with News Channel 7's Nikki Newbro this morning. Nikki, any strange occurrences happening yet? 
Not yet, but I know we're feeling some creepy moods in the area. Just to give you an idea of where we're at, we just showed you at 6 o'clock Genevieve's room, and that is where this is. This doorway is through right here. And then now we are inside her parents' room, and this is where Russell Rensler, um, Rensler, Rensler Russell. Russell, excuse yeah. me, and Carolyn. Uh, and Carolyn lived. Yes, this yeah. would be their bedroom. This is their bedroom. Yep. Yep. Um, so kind of explain who Genevieve is. Okay, this is, um, again, Genevieve's um, post-mortem picture. She would be their first daughter, Renzo and Carolyn's first daughter, that died in the, drowned in the cistern. Wonderful. And it is said that maybe she is here in spirit um, haunting the Renzo house. Correct. Yes, and, correct. Yeah, and, and let's talk about the, the post-mortem picture. This is, this is a unique photo. Yes, it's, they, it was a very popular thing back then to take pictures after um, the loved one had died, but then that might be the only picture they had. Because they didn't have cameras like we had cameras, so a photographer had to come to be able to take the picture. So you had to be able to afford that, and there wasn't one in town all the time, so it may be the only picture you got was after they had passed away. Wonderful. And that with the Grout Museum, thank you so much. Right. I'm going to turn to Seth here, and Seth, you'll be doing the investigation tomorrow night with Calhoun County Paranormal Activity. activity excuse me. And, and Seth, how do you prepare for something like this? Well, we just find out the claims, we find out the history, and just go from there. You know, we get a good layout of the place, and we go from there to set up our investigation and prepare. Now, Genevieve, she died at about six years old, but she died not here in Washington Park, which is very, very near here. Why would she not be at the park? Why is she here? Well, I, I think that this is where she grew up. This is, you know, this is where she spent most of her life, and, I mean, her funeral was here and everything, so I really think that she's here. Yeah. Uh, you guys go to a bunch of different investigations. What drew you to this home? Well, I mean, you stand outside and look at it, and it's just awesome. You're like, I think that's on it. <laughs> but um, then hearing about the claims and the awesome history and... Just boom, this is where I want to come. Explain what you guys will be doing tomorrow night, um, starting at, you said, 8 o'clock. Yeah. We'll be setting up equipment um, just around. We've got cameras and we've got audio recorders, other uh, detecting equipment, and we'll just go around and ask questions and run experiments and see what we can catch. Now, we think Genevieve is here in spirit, but you also think there's more th people here. Yes, I, I get the feeling, and I don't claim to be psychic or anything, but I get the feeling there's somebody else here, if not a couple more people. Yeah. Sure. Um, are you nervous? Do you feel scared? Do you feel a, a feel? <laughs> I, I feel I feel excited right now. <laughs> right a little bit ago, I was feeling somebody watching us, and that's just a weird feeling. But it's it's just creepy, but it's awesome. It's well, you have all of Eastern Iowa watching yes. you. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not that one. <laughs> yes, I understand. I understand. Yes, yes. Um, how can people watch? How can people participate? Um, we'll be uh, doing a live feed. Uh, through Ustream and uh, about nine o'clock tomorrow night, and every on uh, every other hour we'll be doing reflections and talking about what we've been experiencing and talk about anything that we've been catching. And you've already done a um, different an apartment in the area that was haunted. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was it was crazy. Little teeny thing, just two rooms, and we had a crazy activity. And that was in Cedar Falls. Yes. Yep. Right down by you and I. Oh yeah. my word. Well, and you know, even if this isn't haunted, it's just such a special place, a very neat history here. So. If you have an opportunity come on through and it's just neat um, slash kind of eerie right now maybe because it's 6 30 a.m but <laughs> as for now we're live in waterloo nikki newbro for i was news channel 7. man a live feed that is just creepy thank you nikki we asked you on the today in iowa facebook page if you appearances to local businesses mm. to raise money this year do you believe in ghosts <laughs> We've been doing this story today and I still have to smile. A nationally acclaimed historic house in Waterloo is actually being investigated this weekend for paranormal activity. The Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators. Never heard of them, but they're on their way. They're going to check out the Rensselaer Russell House Museum. This is part of the Grout Museum District. It's said that Rensselaer and Caroline Russell's daughter Genevieve, seen in that post-mortem photograph, may actually be haunting the house. She died nearby the house after falling into a cistern, a well, but her funeral was actually inside the home. There's that eerie photograph Ooh. again. And that Beesman with the Grout Museum was a little nervous when first approached about this uh, investigation. Uh, a little leery, because I wasn't sure I wanted to know if it was on it, because I work here and you're here by yourself sometimes, so, yeah. But yet, yeah, intrigued. It was interesting to me. I would love to get some great evidence, maybe answer some weird mysteries that we've had ideas about, questions, and just anything cool in the paranormal. Love 
love this paranormal discussion, sure. don't you? All right. Well, the investigators plan to spend the night at the Rensselaer house tomorrow night. Good luck. Jeez. The home is one of the oldest houses in Blackhawk County. It is 151 years old this year. Spooky stuff indeed. Coming up on Iowa's oh. News Channel 7, Iran. Claims